Down the ground. Beats mid on for four. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the eighth episode of our Netherlands Road to World Cup glory, guys, in the T20 World Cup in 2020. And today, we're going to be taking on Bangladesh after we beat Scotland by just two runs, guys, in the last game. It was an absolute cracker. If you have not seen the game, you should definitely go and check it out. It was an absolute thriller, guys. Anyway, we're back today. Max O'Dowd is a little bit out of form after his first game. But uh, we're probably going to stay with the same team that won it for us last game, guys. And uh, Van der Guten and Mikarin will start up. And uh, we will see how we go uh, so far. How are we looking? Uh, Scott Edwards, Myberg, and Tendiscata did very well in our last game with the bat. And uh, with the ball, it was a bit of a, a sham. But it worked out in the end. So we're going to stick with the same team and see how we go. All right, we're up against Bangladesh, guys. One and a half stars. But, of course, we did win our last game. We've won the toss against Bangladesh, and I tell you what, I think we're going to bowl. If we can get Bangladesh to a little bit of a, 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 a something of a restrictable total, then it might give us some confidence going forward. But it might not, I don't know. It's pulled away for four. And he's bowled, Iqbal! What a delivery! My word. Van der Guden gets Iqbal gone for four off two, guys. And uh, that is a huge moment in this match. Shakib al Hassan to the crease. And he goes over point for four. Das swings and misses as well. Mikarin. That's a four though. Van der Guten bowling. And that's a great over. Well done. Van Mikarin. That's outside edges. But it's four. Uh, we do need a wicket here. So Van der Guten's going to bowl another one. And he gets Das for 18 off 15. It's worked an absolute treat. He gets his second. Rahim to the crease now. He cuts it for four, nearly six. He pulls it. That's for six that time. What a shot that is. And uh, I tell you what, I'm kind of tempted to bowl Mika in one more. But we're going to bring Malik into the play here to Shakib. And he cuts it over third man's head for six. That's going down leg. That's pulled away for four. Okay. And that ends the power play. It was definitely uh, eventful. That's the word to use there. Uh, we're going to bring on Vandermeer first up. Let's see how Vandermeer can do. To Shakib. He's the real key wicket for us at this stage, guys. And that's four runs. Shakib's already 27 off 18. Definitely a big, big player for their team here. That's a great over, though. A great over as in no boundaries. There was a lot of runs off it still. That's straight down the pitch. And that's four. Not great. Vandermeer. No, it's outside the line, but while well bowled. Going 8.5. Ripping goes for eight. We're going to change things up. Bringing in Ackerman. Ackerman goes, uh, pushes cover out. Rahim goes straight. That's a six. What a shot that is. Vandermeer again, please. This is not looking good, guys. 94 for two. But he gets Rahim. Must Mustafik Rahim. Mushfika Rahim. Gone. For 35 off 21. Big moment in the match. Somya Sakar to the crease now. 95 for three for Bangladesh. Wickets are needed here. That's an edge. That's one. Shakib is the man to get out here. He's under some huge pressure, but he hits it straight for six. 100 up for Bangladesh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know. He's going to get anyone out with that. And uh, that's a six. 9.2 per over. Let's just get Shakib out at this stage. Sakar. How's he edged it there? I don't know, but he has. That's a great shot from Shakib. Two. Take two. No, it's 50. <laughs> it's 50 up for Shakib. He's dabbed it. I don't know what this is a direct hit. It is, but it's not going to be anything more than that. Ackerman is getting a bit of a tap today. Rip and returns. 117 for three. And that's swept hard for four, though. Shakib, he's the key wicket. Can Rip and do something? No, it's smashed over long arm for six. Malik into the attack now. 
Can he do something to Shakib? Yes, he gets him. He gets Shakib LBW for 60 off 39. Thank you very much. Marmadula to the crease. And he keep taking wickets. That's four, though. Malik to Sakar. Oh, he goes over point for six. Bangladesh are getting away here big time. And uh, we don't have the death bowlers to stop them at this stage. Because our opening bowlers bowled up front. That's missing off stump. Just a bold rip in. Oh, it's straight. That's six. Nine points. They're going 153. They've already got. Can Malik do something? No, he bowls on the legs and the field's up. It's an edge for one. 9.8 still. Okay, Mikarin. Van Mikarin. To Mamadula. He's hit it over extra cover for six. What a shot. Can you stop the man? Van de Guten. 182 for four. Bangladesh. Edged and gone. And Sakar goes for 39 off 24. And Hussain to the crease. And he hits it straight. And it'll be four. 186 for five. And it's a swing and a miss. Van de Guten. Can he get four? He can. Get four wickets in the match. Four for 32 for... Um, Van de Guten. Van Mikarin gets Mamadoula edged off. These are all counting here, boys. All counting. That should be taken as well from Saifuddin. And it is. He's gone for Golden Duck as well. Hassan to the crease. And he's missed it. And he's missed it again. And it's down leg. 188 is the score. 9.4 per over needed. As uh, the Fizz... Bowls to Max O'Dowd. He's going to run out Scott Edwards for a diamond. Max O'Dowd, what have you done? You've uh, cost us a big time here, buddy. You're going to have to score big now. Because that he was our informed player. Saifuddin to O'Dowd. He goes leg side for four. 9.7 per over here. This is probably where we've just got to attack in the power play. Shot from Myberg. That's going to be four. Beats. Cover for four more. That's outside leg. Don't worry about it. That over was fine. Saifuddin into Max O'Dowd. Goes over mid-wicket. For six. What a shot. But he's gone. He's cleaned up. Guys, how many times do you see him get cleaned up by a pace bowler? It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy to me. Being Cooper cuts that away for four. 9.1 needed per over. 9.6 per over. Hassan to Cooper. To Ben Cooper, that is. Go straight. That's four. That's 50 up for the Netherlands. Need a partnership here. That's a good shot from Ben Cooper again. Last ball of the over. And he sweeps it fine for four more. He's actually swept it square anyway. Never mind. Good stuff here. Shakib. He's the key. Just conceded about five runs so far. And he's got Myberg too. Always the danger. Feel like we've got to attack Hassan because of uh, Shakib. That's a shot from Ben Cooper. That's four. 67 for three. But he's caught mold. He's gone, caught a mold. And now the game is well and truly in the favor of Bangladesh here. 68 for four. Oh my goodness, guys. You can't do this. We cannot win games with that sort of running at all. That's awful. Absolutely dreadful running from the Netherlands. That's the second time they hit it straight to cover and ran. Shot from 10 to Scar. That's four. Going to need plenty more of that. When you 10 and over. That's whipped away. And it should reach the boundary. And it does. 10 per over needed. Hassan. I think it's Naima Hassan. The leg side will be a single. And that's a great over. Shakib. Uh, can we not go after him too hard, please? If it's there to hit, hit it. But otherwise, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Just over deep square, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it's a full toss. Smack it. That's four. Well smacked. 95 for five. Ten and over. Still needed. Razor into the attack. He averages 38 in T20 internationals. Economy of 9.89. We almost feel like he's the bowler to attack, really, out of this lineup. That's a no ball, and it's going to be four. Free hit. Four more. Tender Scarter pulls it for four more. And gee, what, what's he conceded in his first over? Can't even see, but I think that was a crap load in his first over. Four, ten. 
15 in his first over. Uh, well, for us, an ideal over. 100 limb for 5. That's swept away. Fine for 4. 9.8 needed per over. But he's got Van der Merv. Oh dear. 10 and over needed. 10 discard has got to attack Razor. It's our only shot. And it's a single. Razor to Rippin. Oh, you can't. No, boys. That's our third run out. It's our third run out of the innings. We cannot win any game of cricket with that sort of running. And he's gone first ball. Well, well, well. What to say to this game? This should be a hat-trick, and it is. And that's the second hat-trick. Oh, actually, it's team hat-trick. Team hat-trick. Now he's on a hat-trick. Doesn't get it. 12 and over needed, and that will be the ball game. Van Meekeren hits it down to fine leg. Should be caught, but it's actually six. We'll take it all. Pulls it. Fine for four. And now he gets cleaned up. So that's the game. Bangladesh win by 60 runs. And uh, it's a pretty poor performance by the Netherlands, purely based on their running. We had them in the bag, guys. We still had Razor, who was going a truckload before his last over there. And Saifuddin and Rahman were both going at 12s and 10s. We had that run rate in the bag, but Scotty was just gone for a diamond, run out. Ackerman, gone for run out for one. And Tindiscata, run out for 26. Poor running from the Netherlands has cost them big time against Bangladesh. Okay, let's look at the table. What do we need to win? We need, a, we need to win, and I think Scotland are versing Bangladesh. Yeah. If Scotland beat Bangladesh... They will go through, I think. Yeah, they'll go through our net run rate. We have to beat Namibia, guys. All right, guys. This is the moment. Can we qualify? Can we do it? We have choked this before. It's all on this. We don't want to go back versus Scotland again because they have the wood over us. We don't know why, but they just do. They just do. So... Making any changes? Not really. I think we're still playing good cricket. We just ran ourselves out that game. It was really frustrating. So we're going to go again. We've only versed Namibia once before, guys, and we lost. So we're going to bowl at them first. We lost our first match. Batting against them. They were chasing. They won. Let's bowl at them. Let's see what they can do and uh, chase that. That is a four from your France. Bard, he was the hero for them last time. Your France dabs it fine for four. Going wild start. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep the aggression going. You never know. That's a six, though. Okay, your France is going well. Fair. Van de Guten to bar. That's a full toss, and it's four. It's a misfield, actually. And he's cut that away for four more. I don't think it is a misfield. Never mind. But they are off to a good start. I'm for 27 after three. Oh, are you kidding me? Uppercut, four. Well, it's not going well at all, guys. Malik has got to make something happen here. That's a good shot from Bard as well. 8.6 per over. Van Meekeren. Yes, he gets the wicket. Your France edges off. You beauty. Netherlands strike. And Namibia are 43 for one as Davin comes to the crease. Bard is the other key wicket now and he edges in the gap. That's a shot from Davin. That's four. Down leg. The power play is done. Ripping into the attack. You serious? He's literally lofted straight to where the man is, but he's gone over him. Oh, down leg. Am I going around the wrong side of the wicket for Ripping? Yep. I think so. Oh, dear. Malik. Gonna bowl another over here. We need wickets. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think I'm pretty flustered. They're going at nines at Nova, and it's looking very bad. I don't know why they're so good against us. Uh, Netherlands just that bad in this game. I don't know why. Scotland seems to just cream them every time. By the way, that was a free hit, and it was absolute plum. But anyway, can't do much about it now. Scotland seem to cream them every single time, and we cannot seem to get the wood over them at the moment. Go on, though. Davin edges behind. Good, a big wicket. Rippin returns. And he's going to come around the wicket this time. Try and rip him through the gate. It hasn't worked, though. It's a six. Uh, they just love carding Rippin. I don't know what it is in this game. 
Guess it's leg spinners, I guess. Van der Merv to Bard. He swings and misses. He's the big wicket at the moment. Oh, down leg. He's 43 of 37. He is the massive wicket here. Ackerman into the attack, and he is out of form completely with the ball as well, guys. So this is not going to be fun for the Netherlands. He's going to have to come good if they're to win. Oh, down leg. Well bowled. Van der Merv. We need a wicket. Well bowled. Well bowled. Come on, Van der Merv. You got this. That's a four. 100 out for Namibia. Single. And they'll make it. That's a, a four through a misfield. 50 up for Bard. Not good. 109 for two. Edge, no slip. Two runs. Cut away for four. What is going on? How are the Netherlands doing this? That's six, I reckon. That's four. Netherlands, come on, boys. Six. Van Meekrim. Four. Van and move one over. And uh, we've got our death bowlers. Hopefully we can restrict them here. Catch it. Oh. Edge. Nothing though. Malik. Malik to Williams. My ball. 143 for two. That's down leg. Great over. Going to need plenty more of those. You would hope. To restrict the Nether uh, the you know, Namibians yet. It's a good swing and a miss from Bard. He's in good touch though, and he's edged off though. Erasmus now. That's a good shot. At least six. 150 up. Oh no, he's hit another one. He's done a he's done a Chris Morris. Is there two there? Yeah, they're gonna make that. Six, four. Van der Guten, last over. 168 for three. Edge for one. 170. Six. Bold. Oh, bold. 178 needed. Well, it's going to be tough. Max it out. Goes leg side. Six. Scott Evans has gone for a second baller. Why? 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 If we're going to win, it's all on Scott Edwards. Like, literally. I don't know if you guys have seen, like, any of our games we've won. He's literally scored all our rounds. So, it's really frustrating. But that is a 6 to Max O'Dowd. 8.8 .8 needed per over. Pulled fine for 4. That's another good shot from Maibu for 4. And he's cleaned up. Free hit to O'Dowd. And misses it. Done it again. Well, so the Netherlands are 32 for 3, guys. Good shot from Cooper. That's 4. And that will be a 6 over cover. Schultz. 6 to 10 to Skarda. Shot down the ground. That beats mid-off for 4. 8.6. Bill Jowen. Leg side by Ben Cooper for six. Oh, swings and misses. Pulls leg side for four more. Tina Scatter cuts for four. Drives now or whips it away through mid wicket and it will just get there for four more. Okay. 84 for three. Oh, swing and a miss though. Schultz to Cooper. Another swing and a miss. Needs to just get off strike here. Oh, I had a six or four. Gee, it always looks like six. It's four. That's an edge, though. And uh, it'll just be the one. Eight per over needed. He hasn't hit it. Nope, he hasn't hit that either. Shikondo? Shikongo? Into the attack. Ten scarred. Cut away for four. Edged and gone. Great catch from Erasmus. New all-time record partnerships for the Netherlands for the fourth wicket. Much needed in that circumstance. Now, Colin Ackerman. Gonna need to buddy up with Pin... Pin? Ben Cooper. 
Also now his nickname being Pen. Or Penny, I guess. Edged. Gee. Keeper dived underneath it. Ackerman with a free hit. Can he hit it? Yep. Four. 69 needed in eight overs. Okay. Lunga Mini. Edged away. Left arm medium bowler. Cut away for four. Just beats the deep point. Cuts. Be a direct hit, but it will not matter. 60 needed in this last seven overs. Ben Cooper on 49. Hits it away and it'll be 50. An important one for the Netherlands in this game. Can they get home and can they qualify yet? That's a play and a miss, and that was a really good over from their perspective. Lunga Mini. To Cooper, who drives inside out for four. Nines needed per over, though. He's cut it away. It's six. And a single. And Ackerman goes over mid-wicket for six. 7.8 needed per over. Viljowen. To Ackerman. Swings and misses, though. Hits it straight. Six. What a shot. Goes. Fine. Over the man for six more. 24 of 24 now. Lunga Mini. Run a ball. That's a shot for four from Cooper, too. 18 to win. Down the ground. Beats mid on for four. Goes. Extra cover for four. New all-time record partnership, 73 for the fifth wicket for the Netherlands. Ben Cooper is fully confident to finish this game. Can he do it? He carves it for four, five to win. He edges past the keeper. Three to win. Back for drive, and there it is. The Netherlands have beat Namibia in a dramatic circumstance. 84 is the partnership record for the fifth wicket. 86 not out of 51 for Ben Cooper. Ackerman, 36 off 25. The Netherlands win, and Bangladesh beat Scotland by six wickets as well. Meaning that for the first time, the Netherlands will qualify for the Super 12, guys. Amazing scenes. Absolutely amazing, guys. Wow, we. I wasn't sure if we were going to do it, but we have. We have indeed gone in with Oman. Into the Super 12, which means Bangladesh will meet up in the uh, second group, Group 2, with Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea made it as well. What the heck? Sri Lanka didn't make it. Ireland didn't either. What happened there? How did Oman and Papua New Guinea... Papua New Guinea beat Ireland. What? And then Oman beat Sri Lanka on the same day. Guys. This is absolute scenes. Lasseth Malinga was there too. What the heck? That's insane. Wow, we and Oman bit Ireland. Oman bit Ireland. And Papua New Guinea beating Ireland as well. And Oman beating Sri Lanka in the same day, guys. It's insane. Insane stuff, guys. But we've finally done it. The career mode finally progresses. And, uh, or at least for now. For now, guys. We've, we've got a... We've got to win some games in the Super 12 now, which is uh, going to be the next challenge. T uh, achievement unlocked, guys. I just got an achievement unlocked. T20 World Cup Super 12. Qualify for the Super 12 stage with a non-test team, guys. 5.4% of all players who play this game do this achievement, guys. Insane stuff. I guess most people do... How do most people do that achievement without doing the other achievement? That's interesting. Anyway... We have achieved the achievement that we've wanted to do, guys, for at least seven episodes now. Qualify for the Super 12 stage with a non-test team. And we are here in the Super 12 stage. We are taking on Oman in the first game. And, uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable, guys. Here we are. We've actually made it to the Super 12. <laughs> guys, this is insane. Look at the other teams around us. So we've got the Netherlands, right? No, we're surrounded by Australia. Pakistan, New Zealand, West Indies. And I mean, Oman's our most beatable opponent, and we're versing them first. So that's not great at all, really, because we have no intel on them at all. I mean, we've got no intel on anyone, but I mean, it, look, guys, it's very unlikely that we're going to win from this stage yet. 
We've qualified for the first time. Don't get me wrong, that's awesome. But it's unlikely we're going to win. We've just got to try and win some games. We've got to try and upset one of these teams. We've got to try and upset Australia, New Zealand, Pakistan, or West Indies here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, guys, below. If you think we are actually going to do this, guys, because this is awesome to see. The Netherlands have made the Super 12 for the first time, guys. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. So if you did enjoy it, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter, guys. I tweet out a lot. And don't forget to join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all of our videos go live, guys. And let me know your thoughts down below on the series, guys. Who do you think is going to win the World Cup this time? Do you think we are going to qualify for the semifinals, guys? How many games do you think we're going to win? Do you think we're going to win any at all? And who do you think is going to be our top run scorer across these games, guys? So far, I would think uh, we can actually probably have a look as well. So far, it looks like uh, Ben Cooper actually surpassed Edwards and Myberg as uh, our leading run scorer at the moment. So Ben Cooper, congratulations to him. And our leading wicket taker is Van de Guten and Van Meekeren, who are doing exceptionally well at the top of the order. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next episode of this exciting series, guys. It just got good, guys. Stay tuned for the next five games, guys. Good. Bye for now.